Hey, what's up? It's Zeals, and it is the second day of the Unreconciled Stars event. And this is the second day of the Unknown Star Stage 1, and this is the Asia server. So for all of you guys watching an EU and NA server, as well as those that are on PSN, you can check out your server time with the link I'll put in the description box, the video description box down below. Now, yesterday I made a video about this event and you guys just, whew, you stormed that video. It had so many, yeah, people come in and checking it out. Um, our channel was the first to tell you guys about this bug. Well, MiHoYo took their sweet time and they fixed it after 11 hours. And you can see the in-game notice for this. Let's check it out together. And the event is going to be live. We'll talk about it. So boom, they pretty much fixed it. If you don't know what the bug is about, then don't worry. Everything is working fine now. For those that knew about the bug, that checked out my video, basically you can do everything. You can teleport, you can die, you can drown. Wait, that sounds so weird and so wrong, but yeah, in the game, right? It doesn't matter what you do in the game. You can go take a poop disconnect. It doesn't matter. The blue circles as well as the meteorites will not go away. So that has been fixed. So yesterday, let's check out the event details. We had 162. I'm missing some. I'm going back for the ones that I, you know, fucked up yesterday. So I'm going to find those. So you should be at first day 162. Remember, they did not go away. You can go back to look for them. Now, the one thing that I wanted to test was do they respawn? So we're going to go over here. I think I farmed everything around this area. And all the links for, if you missed out the first day, I'll put all the maps down below. So it does not look like it respawns. Yeah. So this part, let me also check the village as well right here. Just to make sure. Crystal clear because I was here yesterday. I knocked out this part. I just have to do the monster part. So let me check this out. And yeah, so it is not respawning so what you need to do is pretty much the first day all the maps once again down below you can get up to 162 it will not go away you can keep doing it for the next 12 days after you do this the first day you'll see the timer for the second day in case you're in na or eu so if you want to know when it's coming you can just check it in the game um so for today we have three new regions and guess what for the next seven hours for the next seven to 12 hours, my team, as well as others, other channels, you know, people on Reddit, we're going to find all the placements. I mean, we can find them out right now because they're not going away or anything. It's pretty much easy to do. But for those that want like a complete cheat sheet, a map of where all the meteorites are at, I'll put them in the pinned comment. Always in all my videos, check the pinned comment for the updated locations. I'll be doing my best to update it every hour or two or three. I mean, I still got to sleep, right? So it is five in the morning right now. So yeah, I'll keep that updated. Now, if you don't know where to find some of these, even with the map sheet, the cheat sheet, hmm, maybe they're on a cliff or, you know, in between the cracks down below or something like that but anyways if you cannot find it then just hop on my discord we got like 42,000 people that are playing genjin impact so this is the new region for today i will find with my team all the placements with paka with um just shout out to all my discord moderators we'll find the locations and post them in the pinned comment and keep it updated so the second day we're still going to collect these right here the fading stars might we will not be able to unlock this until later on now what is coming tomorrow on the third day the third day if you go into the event details we're going to be unlocking this next so in asia we're going to get it in 23 hours for eu and na you can also check this in the game itself and this is going to be pretty much like the single like a dungeon experience you, you need to do a certain task let me show you guys real quick so you have to do this like single player mission i don't think this is co-op until the last stage but anyways um you want to have resin for this so if you have some condensed resin you'll be fine if you don't have any you'll be fine as well and the reason why you want to do this is right here the 14 out of 14 to get the free official not only that let's go back to the site you're also going to get adventure rank exp well that's pretty pretty obvious but you're also going to get primal gems as well can you guys see that yeah anyways this is an official post by mihoyo they have made this site anyways so by doing this you're going to get these rewards i'll also do it tomorrow update you guys um, as well we're going to talk about it once again and it does say right here like the crucible event that you may spend 
the resin afterwards to collect the reward so maybe we can do it without spending resin and we'll have to see tomorrow if we can do this without spending resin but it should be worth it more to come in tomorrow's video once we do get this i want to confirm for sure but to get the free official right here step two and three you're going to need 560 resin completely doable for the free to play audience whether they spend resin on it or not which i'll be testing starting tomorrow when it does go live in asia so guys don't worry about your official or official constellation it's not going anywhere it'll be free to play friendly and obtainable that is the good news now the star of destiny is going to be the last part with the shop right here dropping the fading stars essence and you should be prioritizing the crown of sagehood and we'll talk about what else to do with the pocket change that you have left the crown of sagehood to simply put it and quickly say it because it's five in the morning is used to level up your talents at a high high level even if you don't need it now you should be getting these they're pretty pretty damn rare all right as for the fading stars might you can decide now or later but pretty much heroes wit and mora heroes wit a little bit more prioritize than mora and then after that you can decide if you have the pocket change left over so to wrap it up second day 90 primo gems primal gems whatever 60k mora if you haven't done these right here make sure you guys do so that is additional 120 and you have to wait till day three the next day we'll be unlocking this right here <laughs> once again at 5 a.m my time for the single player most likely single player is it an instance or outdoor event whatever we'll find out tomorrow and i'll get you guys more information on that make sure once again to check the pinned comment in case a bug or something happens something that you need to be aware of make sure to check the pinned comment i'll update you guys with the updated maps if you have any questions drop me a comment so that's gonna be it guys so that's gonna be it for day two pretty calm three new regions and for day one if you have already finished those three regions at day one just to clear the confusion those if you finished it they will not respawn now if you did not finish day one all those meteorites will still be there so when i said respawn what i'm talking about is if you've done all of day one does the same spot in day one do they respawn the answer is no if you haven't done day one then it will be right there safe and ready for you to do them now that's gonna be it guys hopefully it was helpful make sure you guys smack this video a like and subscribe to the channel make sure you guys join the giveaway ending in 20 hours where i'll be doing a summon for a free-to-play viewer i'm gonna be drawing a five star for them a lucky winner follow me on twitch twitter and discord and last but not least Check the pinned comment. See you guys in the next video. Your boy Zeal's out. Peace.